my goodness. I'm just glad you're okay. How crazy do you have to be to deliver someone else's baby and then think it's yours? She was pretty out of it. And then trying to steal the baby right out of the nursery? Well, thank God John talked her down and the baby's fine. Marty thinks that the baby is John's and hers, so that means that she clearly doesn't realize the baby's really Brody's. Huh. Natalie, hey. Hey, our mama. Hey. Thanks, John. Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be at the hospital with Jess. That's my next stop. I wanted to see if there's any news about Marty. Uh, Natalie and Jess are really concerned. Probably for different reasons. Huh. So, any news? Yeah, the judge remanded Marty to St. Anne's for psychiatric care. It's probably best for Marty and for everyone else. After what she pulled at the hospital, there's no doubt she's dangerous. She wasn't herself. Yeah. I don't know how you stayed so calm when you found her in the nursery. I would have lost it if I found her walking around with my kid. Hey, Jess, congratulations. Thank you, you and Brody. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Uh, bye. 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 Wow. Something I said? No, no. I'm sure they just wanted to get home to Shane. Okay. Got it? Probably right. Well, I just came by to check on you. You know, I still can't believe what happened with Marty. It's over now. Yeah, I guess so. I just hope she's getting the help she needs, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she will. I really just, I want to focus on the babies now. Yeah. You and me both. Brody's so excited. He's already talking about how much he wants another one. If it was your kid, I'm sure you would have done the same thing. I hope you're right. All I want to do now is get back to the hospital and check on my son. Go on, get out of here, be with your family. All right, I'll see you there later. I'm sure you're gonna want to check on yours too. Mm. Right. So, that was awkward. Oh, oh, when Jessica walked in? Yeah, I pretty much thought we were screwed. From now on, we need to be more careful. Marty out of the picture. The only people that know that Natalie's baby is Brody's and not John's are you and me. We just came from the nursery, and guys, I gotta tell you, it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we, we did okay. Oh, Grandpa would be so proud. Now, boys, is good rugged and good looking. Girls as Buchanan, boys. <laughs> I just wish you hadn't been here to see them. Oh, I'd be so happy. Yeah. Yeah, but he'd probably have just as hard a time telling them apart as I did. Well, that's what the nurses keep on saying. They look more like brothers than cousins. Mm. Um, Aubrey's outside. Why don't you go get her? Yeah, don't worry about Aubrey. She's with her brother. I thought you were... Ugh, what are we doing here, Jeej? Keeping this from John and Brody? But if it does more damage than the truth, we see the damage it's already doing. The toll that it's taking on Natalie. She's constantly on her toes. Every little comment about the baby sets her on edge. I know. And she's actually hoping that Marty stays crazy. I kind of am too. What about this little guy here? I've been down this road before. I've been down it with you. Since when has lying about a baby's paternity ended well? And don't we owe it to Brody? I mean, he's got two kids in there, not just one. Doesn't he deserve to know the truth? What truth? Oh, congratulations, both of you. The boys are fantastic. Oh, it's Aubrey. I'm so happy for you both, and for me, to get to be their aunt. <laughs> Almost makes me want to push back the wedding so the little guys could be our co-ring bearers. Almost, right, sis? You don't want to push this engagement off too long. Yeah. Guys, this is Aubrey's brother, Cutter. Cutter, these are my sisters, Jessica and Natalie. Aubrey, you did not tell me that Joey's sisters were this gorgeous. <laughs> it's no wonder those kids are so cute. They got great DNA. What truth? that your life as you know it is over, Dad. <laughs> From now on, it's all diapers and PTA meetings. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm, I'm so happy for you, Brody. <laughs> your little baby is amazing. Yeah, he is. You know what? That McBain kid isn't too shabby either. Any news about Marty? Well, she's in St. Anne's now, so we don't have to worry. She won't be threatening John and Natalie's boy anymore. I couldn't call.
You can lay off Joey's sisters. They're taken. But they haven't even heard my game. Oh, well then, go right ahead. But you better make it quick, because my fiancé is coming back from the station pretty soon. Stop it. Station, huh? Does he make sure the choo-choos get in on time? No, he's a cop. So is mine. A lot of cops in this family. <laughs> and here's mine right now. Oh, Brody. How yeah, you doing? This is Aubrey's brother, Cutter. Brody Lovett, Jessica's fiancé. Cutter Wentworth, uh, congratulations on the kid. Uh, thanks, yeah, I'm looking forward to having some more. Oh, easy, easy. I'm not even out of the hospital yet. <laughs> uh, someone, everything all right? Sorry, uh, just, you look really uh, familiar. Do we know each other from somewhere? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. You must read Matt and no. Well, I'm gonna take off. Again, congratulations. I'll, I'll walk you out. Bye. What's meant and all? <laughs> kind of makes you think, huh? About what? Well, having more. Does it now? Don't you? Mm, don't I what? Want more kids or think about it? Both. Yes and yes. <laughs> what about you? Same deal. Uh, but... <clears throat> not now, right? No. That's no good. Right? Between work and school, I'm, we barely have time to see the kid we've got. <laughs> I'm gonna be a kid much longer. Don't say that. He's growing up. He disagrees with everything I say. And he uses deodorant. <laughs> it's like he's turning this surly teenager overnight. I'm worried about him. I feel like... He's been getting distant from us. We do need to spend more quality time together. How about it? How about what? What do you say we go home and drive our kid crazy? Also, that's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. Rum Besides, this Clint Buchanan is far too busy juggling his many secrets to do us any harm. to think that you're it. Can you imagine what it'd be like for a man who believes he's a father to suddenly find out he isn't one after all? Or for the man who believes he has no child only to find out he really is a father. <laughs> 